Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of a church Bible publisher's Bible. This is a brand new cover design that they've got. This one is going to be a full yap water buffalo leather cover. This thing is absolutely amazing. So they did send a spec sheet on here so I'm just going to use their dimensions. So the height on this one is going to be 10.875 inches. The width is going to be 7.375 inches and the thickness is going to be 1.75 inches. So one thing we see right here is that gold gilding and I think that they have some of the absolute best gold gilding on the market. Their gold is just absolutely gorgeous and it's kind of harder to show on this one because of the full yap but that is just absolutely beautiful. So this is going to be a milk chocolate water buffalo leather. So you can see the grain pattern in that and the grain on this is just absolutely gorgeous. It is perimeter stitched all the way around the perimeter. You can already see that that is hugging the text block and again that is because this is a full yap water buffalo cover. So we can see the full yap there. So for you Bible lovers that love a yap, you are going to go nuts over this Bible. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can kind of see here on the top of there and the bottom, the way that that's shaped with that yap on there. That is just absolutely gorgeous. On our spine we've got Holy Bible, Authorized King James, and CBP. So we're going to have five raised ribs, which on this cover just looks awesome. And the lettering on these water buffaloes, it is done so well and so perfect that it almost looks like little metal letters stuck in there and it's not. I mean, that's just how good that looks. The ribbon color that they chose looks really nice against that there. You can see how good that looks against the stitching on the color on that. Just absolutely gorgeous. On the inside we're going to have a genuine cowhide liner. This is black and with the grain pattern in there it almost looks like it's got gray on there. But the grain pattern on that is just really really nice. The way these two pieces of leather come together you can barely feel that you've got that liner up against her. The way that they do that is just phenomenal. Got really nice corner work on there and again you can just see how that yap is on there. This is edge line so this liner is going to be tabbed up into the block so you can see that line there. So this liner is tabbed up on there and then these first pages are put together there to add some extra durability but just this cover on this thing is absolutely amazing. So we're going to have a few pages of blank card stock. So lots of space if you wanted to take some notes in this one. One thing we can see here is going to be the stitching in the gutter. So evidence of our sewn binding. So this one, the text block is printed by Kirkbride and then the rest of it is by Church Bible Publishers. Now they're Water Buffalo covers, they are done by AA Leather. So we've got Genuine Water Buffalo and AA Leather. And again, look at the colors on that. That is just some of the absolute prettiest leather that I've ever seen. And if you could smell this through the camera, wow, you would just, you'd click their link and buy one right now just based on the smell. It's amazing. All right, so we're going to get into the text block. Now this video is not going to be huge detail about the text block because I am going to link the video of the large print Thompson chain and all the content in this is going to be the same. But I want to show you this Bible, this cover against some other Thompson chains for some size comparisons. So this one is copyright 1988. This one happens to be the 36th printing in May of 2018. We're going to have our contents, the books of the Bible, Old and New Testament, 
We're going to have a list of all the comprehensive Bible helps. We've got a preface to the Thompson Chain, the analytical and synthetic system of Bible study, explanation of the margins, text cyclopedia, and journey maps the practical advantages of this Bible, and then we've got a key to the pronunciation of proper names, and then we get right into the Bible. So we're going to have a double column format, so all of the text on our left, we're going to have all the references, all the chain references, and everything on this column, and then on our right column, we're going to have them on this side. So where there's not text in there, that's going to be extra space to be able to put some notes. On our margins, the top and the bottom, we're going to have a half inch. And then on our other margins here, the inside and the outside, is 0.375 of an inch. Now, if you're familiar with the Thompson chain, you've probably seen this. But for those of you who may not be familiar with the Thompson chain, I'm just going to show you this because it's really just pretty neat. So here we're going to have what they call the River of Inspiration. So it starts off with the Pentateuch, then the history books, poetry, major prophets, and minor prophets. And then over here we've got the 400 silent years. Then we get into the New Testament, so we're going to have the history books, so we're going to have the Gospels and Acts, all of the Pauline epistles, the general epistles, and then Revelation. So a lot of the artwork and the charts and everything that are in a Thompson chain are very, very unique. So it's actually really, really neat. All right, so we're going to take a look at the text. Now the font in this one is going to be an 8.5 font. So nice and readable. And then we're going to take a quick peek at our chain reference system. Don't worry, there is no ink in this pen. I wouldn't dare take a fountain pen near a Bible. All right, so right here we're going to see 884 Creator. And so if we go into the back of the Bible, is where we're going to have all of the extras. And so we've got this section on the left is all the biblical text. The rest of that is the supplemental study aids. So that is quite a bit. So you can see that right there. Tons of stuff in a Thompson chain. So we're going to look at that 884 to show you a quick example of a chain reference. And again, if you want to see more details, check out the other video that will be linked to this one. So when we get in here to the 884, we're going to have creator. And then it's going to give all of the other chains in that reference. But what's really nice is it also has that full verse. So you can either follow them back here, or you can just follow them along as you're reading the Bible. But it does make it really nice to be able to just flip to the back. We're going to take a quick look at the self-pronouncing text, and then we'll look at our ribbons. So this one is self-pronouncing. So we can see here in Genesis 10. These ribbons on this are absolutely beautiful. So we're going to have three ribbons. They're like a golden honey. I'm not quite sure exactly what color they call it, but they are a double satin ribbon, really a nice quality. Plus they are three inches longer than their standard ribbons. So it makes it nice because you have plenty of ribbon length to use. I personally like a longer ribbon. And then over the years, if you have this Bible and you use it for many, many years, eventually your ribbons are going to start to fray. So you're going to have plenty of length you can cut that, heat seal it, and just still have plenty of length of ribbons, where when publishers give you a ribbon that is only to here, and you don't have enough room to even use it, if they start to fray, you're going to lose the use of your ribbons. One thing we see right here is how nice this full yap looks around that Bible. Just absolutely beautiful. This water buffalo leather is just so awesome. I absolutely love it. So we've got the three ribbons, and we're going to go back here and look at the red letter. If you're familiar with the Thompson chain, you already know that the red letter is pretty bright. So with the Church Bible Publishers, their red letter is a deeper shade of red, but this one is done by Kirkbride. So we're going to have their red letter, which 
it's kind of more of a pinkish red so it is fairly bright in some lights it's a little bit harder to see but I find that if on the red letter when there's a lot of distractions in the back because there's red on both sides I just stick a piece of black paper behind it and that gets rid of a lot of that so we're going to come to the back so we actually I should have marked this first little section here and I think I did with the ribbon actually so we're going to get back to the complete system of biblical studies so we're going to have the principles of Bible study the best methods of study we'll get into the comprehensive Bible helps then we're going to have a general index and the general index you can see it's four columns so there is a lot of information in there but it's nice because it's going to give you the page number so everything's going to be nice and easy to find and I love the Thompson's because it lets scripture interpret scripture and I absolutely love that and we're going to get into the condensed cyclopedia of topics and texts and I'm going to show you how thick that part is because it's pretty beefy so that's how much is right there so that's quite a bit this also has an archaeological supplement so tons and tons of stuff in a Thompson chain and the neat thing about the archaeological supplement you're gonna have a lot of actual photographs which is just amazing and that's also decent size then we're gonna get back into the revised concordance and key to the topical study so it's gonna give you an explanation on there on the new arrangement links and everything that's in the back of this so this is going to be three column format still have a nice bold print and we're going to get into our maps we're going to have 14 full color maps one thing you can see is the glare on there so they are on a shiny cardstock but they are nice that they're full color one thing we can see here is some more stitching so more evidence of the sewn binding so this Bible will last you a lifetime take a look at the rest of the maps and then we'll take a quick look at the size of this Bible compared to the large print and how much bigger this cover is from the regular mid-size we're gonna have some more pages of blank cardstock so more space for notes sermon outlines, prayers, whatever you want to use. So again, this one is the mid-size. So this one here that I'm going to put next to it, this is the large print KJV. So I'll probably have to pull this camera away slightly so you can see that just a little bit better. All right, so if we get that lined right up, this Bible on the left is actually a little bit taller, and that's because of that full yap. But you'll be surprised when we look at the text block on these. So this is our large print text block next to the midsize. So you can see that there's quite a difference here. It might be easier to see it on the bottom right there. So pretty good size difference on that text block. You can also see the difference on the width. So for this Bible to be bigger as far as the cover goes, that tells you how much of a yap there is on that one. So I will link the full review on that one so that you can see more of the contents. Next, we're going to look at it next to the regular Thompson chain, which is the midsize. So this one here is going to have the same size text block as far as height and width. This one's going to be thicker because it's a different translation but same size on the text block and if we line those up you can see the size difference on there again because of the full yap on this one here got one more to show you so this one is going to be more of the handy size so if you've got an older Thompson that's a more of the hand size that'll give you an idea of the size on there but this one is just an amazing Bible so I'm going to link their information in the description box so I'm going to get you back 
down here a little bit closer. I'm going to give you a shot of their information. So again, it's Church Bible Publishers. There's their phone number and their website. All they do is King James Bibles, and the Bibles they produce are second to none. They really are. There is some more information about them there. Again, their website will be linked in the description box, so definitely check them out. Again, this one is brand new. And again, it is a full yap water buffalo mid-size Thompson chain. They didn't give them any price on it, so you'll have to check their website for the pricing. Three gorgeous ribbons. The cover on that, I mean, the leather on these water buffaloes is just phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous Bible. So this one is going to be sent off to the next reviewer. So you'll be seeing a handful of reviews on this one and definitely check out Church Bible Publishers because they're King James Bibles. You're not going to find a nicer Bible for the money. Plus they're just an amazing ministry. And I would like to thank them for sending this out for review and I will get this shipped off to the next reviewer. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.